Okay, so Hargis Davis of GC Video News, uh, journalist of the website uh, GC Video News, which stands for Gallatin County Video News, he just reported that John Kane went to jail. And the reason why that John, uh, Jonathan M. Kane, uh, January 10th, 2014, 1.07.42 p.m., um, was put into jail. And so, um, this is absolutely remarkable. I feel like this is going to, this is not going to be good for the players involved. Okay, so John Kane, uh, to give you a little bit of background, John Kane is the founder of GC Video News. He's the one that came up the website, and he was chasing car wrecks and house fires and um, uh, built up a large following for g capturing a lot of these video images in, uh, uh, in Gallatin County, Kentucky, which is the smallest county in the entire state. And so he was actually, uh, it was new media, he was uh, showing the people of Gallatin County a different type of uh, citizen journalism, which, you know, uh, we the people can uh, film what's going on around us and we can actually write down what, uh, what we see and be a part of those who write history instead of just kind of being those who, who watch it. We can be, um, you know, participants instead of just spectators, which is what we're generally expected to be. So, um, John Kane, he's been in Gallatin County his entire life. Uh, I remember him growing up with him when he was real young. Um, he made some big headlines, um, state headlines. A lot of uh, news, uh, TV news channels came down him uh, down to Gallatin County because he had invented the radio. He, he didn't invent the radio. Nathan Stubblefield invented the radio, a different Kentucky, and he invented the radio. But but John Kane uh, had developed a radio when he was only like you know four years old or something he was real young and so he had made this radio and then made a bunch of uh you know a lot of people got excited he even got invited to the david letterman show so everybody's like hey come on to the david letterman show then um also remember he had lost his home in the 92 or 97 flood uh he also had this vehicle uh that you'd push a button and you'd you would spray water out and so you, we would you know uh he you could just you could just spray people you know with water right <laughs> okay, so um, he's had a, a bunch of charges, so he got arrested, uh, let's see, today's the, I guess, 12th, so it's two days uh, ago, and the video actually looks like it was edited by John Cain, so <laughs> um, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, good, because then that means he's actually able to get out his message, he's able to comply with the court proceedings, but also get his message out, um, but also, I, I think you should be a little wary of Hargis Davis, um, I like Hargis Davis. He's never done anything to me, but he did. It seemed like he ripped uh, Ronnie Lee Smith off and Dorothy Perkins. So he, he gives an interview and talks to them, and then, you know, the next moment he's blasting them or they're going to jail. And so, you know, I hope um, I hope this all turns out okay for John Kane. Hargis will be wanting, you know, ratings, and he wants the attention. And he's, you know, I think he likes talking about the subpoena power, and he's right about everything he's saying, and he's talking about how every thing is going to be open public court records so I think you know he says that he hires John Kane to do you know oh I hire him every once in a while well he was the founder of it so if you have the founder going to jail and being made a mockery of then you know it might um, you know might taint Hargis' thing so it's in his self-interest regardless uh, to, to fight on behalf of John Kane and actually anybody um, uh, I don't know. I want to say for justice because this is actually this does piss me off. This is just a free speech issue, and you know they're they're trying to fucking I don't know. Okay, let's just okay they're trying to put him through the rakes. Okay, this is malicious prosecution. Malicious prosecution when they um, you know they pull somebody out, then they say you did this, this, and this, and just throw all these fucking charges on you and just put you through the rakes, just put you through the coals. Eventually, you know some punishment will hit you so you will get punished by something and so when they sit there divulging illegally illegally obtained info 
So they're saying what what that the their text messages wasn't his to get, so he shouldn't have been able to put it. We put it out and he took it down. So he put it out, he took it down, and also and eavesdropping. So I guess he he was he took the you know text. So then the tampering with private communications, the cell phone, right? I guess I guess when he, there was a couple, he, he took it and saw it or something. I don't know. And harassment, and so no physical contact. So the uh, they're saying he's being harassed. And he's doing all this other shit, but it's incredible that they throw four charges at John Kane, right? He's guilty of four charges, but Brent Caldwell wasn't guilty of any charges. He was getting, you know, um, it was reported he was getting two checks, right? And um, and uh, you know, he killed a man. There's that too. And I mean, Tommy Dunn is the man that's in question. And actually, in those statements, he talks about drinking moonshine. Moonshine is definitely illegal. It's been illegal for a long ass time. And, um, you know, it's, it's, since it's unregulated, people could drink and, like, fucking die from this shit. People make it out of their bathtubs. Um, it is a long tradition here in Kentucky to have moonshine, but it's also illegal. So that means Tommy Dunn admitted to breaking a crime. So um, a confession is really all a cop needs to be able to nab a person and throw him in prison, right? Um, well, he confessed to it. He said that he did it. So you've drunk moonshine before? Okay, then you know that means you're guilty of breaking that law. Nope, you said it. Get in, get in prison. And he, uh, there was a comment on GC Video News that had talked about, well, it's a well-known in fact that Tommy he smoked um, weed with Tommy Dunn a bunch of times and that's that's incredible Tommy Dunn is smoking pot that means every um, every arrest for marijuana or any other real illegal drugs and especially by him or by the entire force uh, it, it should be null and void what how can he go up there and testify how can anybody on the police force go up and testify and say that you know when they do it it's wrong but when he does it it's okay that is hypocrisy they're not living up by the same standards as um, as other people which is actually very apparent and I I hope, I mean, in a way, this sucks for John Cain to have to go through this, but I think the the uh, the uh, pushback and the blowback on all this actually will, this will all be good um, for, for debating for, you know, what it is that we're trying to do here. This so-called civilization, right? So... So, right, okay, so, um, and then, uh, so, Jennifer Savellas goes to Spike Wright, the county attorney who goes to Ed Caldwell, and Ed Caldwell arrests John Cain. So, it starts out with Jennifer Savellas, who is John Cain's girlfriend, um, who, both of them, there was sort of a dynamic duo. John Cain was getting the video footage and the information, and then Jen Jennifer Savellas was reporting it. Um, she, she only had to do, like, five minutes, and even sometimes that would be, like, too much for her. <laughs> like, oh. Oh, okay. If I do this, then can we can we go out to eat? Um, so that's uh, um, you know that that's sort of what's going on right now with John Cain. The um, I, I guess he's out. I don't know. I I haven't been able to find actually anything. So John Cain had uh, got arrested recently, um, uh, January tenth, two thousand fourteen. Uh, Jonathan M. Cain and Jonathan M. M. Cain. He's uh, he's one year older than me. And um, and I grew up with John John Kane. John Kane's got a website that he uh, um, came to bomb. He's the one that started GC Video News. He's the founder of GC Video News. He's uh, he he's very talented. He has um, he started a lot of um, businesses that have failed. So he's sort of an entrepreneur. He's he's, he's better with ideas than he is with institutions. Uh, he knows about technology and he's very helpful with anybody that has any questions. He always um, help me. There is um, you know there is actually some some similarities <laughs> with this situation and with with uh, him as and I uh, beef you know a, a while back, but we have since buried the hatchet on that. And, um, and and so okay, so John Kane has you know uh, some text messages of, of Jenner Cervellis and Tommy Dunn who were flirting with each other, and so they're flirting with each other, and uh, um, this is you know many years later, but they you know since the John Kane and Jenner Cervellis had broke up, um, but recently maybe a month ago John Kane puts out this um, you know he puts out all these text messages about you know. 
know, just them like eating strawberries or something <laughs> on each other, or some shit, whipped cream or something, um, uh, drinking, not drinking. And, and then uh, Tommy Dunn talks about drinking moonshine. Jennifer Swell says, "Isn't that illegal?" And then she was like, "He was like, yes, dear, right." So this is unfortunate for Tommy Dunn's wife. This is unfortunate for a lot of people. In fact, John Cain's rationale was he people had got things confused because he, I guess he felt that people were more sympathetic with uh, Jenny, Jenny, uh, Jennifer Cervellis's. Uh, perspective than it was his because you know after a relationship is over you're not really allowed to you know be friends with the other person's um, friends and so people have to choose sides right which side are you on and um, and so I guess that he's he's putting this out in order to say well I'm not the bad person here you know you want to go ahead and be sympathetic with her because she's the woman that's fine um, but if you actually want to see what's going on uh, she had you know she was cheating on me or she was flirting with other men behind my back and so you know this was a sort of a sour grapes you know kind of a um I don't know. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't very um, elegant, right? It wasn't very pretty. It's not. Um, I don't know what's the word I'm. I'm trying to say. Um, like distinguished or um, uh, Victorian um, professional uh, polite society. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, you know. Uh, it wasn't pro polite society. Now John Cain's the one that had the the video that actually he put out and he was a fake reporter and um, the uh, he there's a missing woman and he was the fake reporter that was like man I'd fuck her uh, don't tell me you wouldn't fuck her yeah I would fuck her uh, right in the pussy and then they got like you know that blew up and so I, I feel I don't know if that's this is political retribution I don't know what the fuck is going on I don't, I don't know why this is the route that they're going I don't know why Spike Wright would flex his muscle like this I don't know why you know uh, uh, Spike Wright really believes that the, a crime had occurred here, so he's putting a lot of charges on him, and he's going to get him for something, right? Um, even if at the very least it's just harassment. So already the county attorney has taken the opposite side of Jonathan Cain. He's taken Jennifer, Jennifer Savellis and even ordered the police officer to arrest. So that's, I guess that's how that works. I thought Spike Wright said he defends the police officers, but I guess he tells them what to do, defends them, they defend each other, they're one big kind of happy corrupt clique, right? Uh, growing up, I was told you know, uh, that there was the clique that ran Gouth County was the Clarence Davis clique. So I don't know if that's the same one or not. The one that I see is the, the Spike Wright click. And he's a Democrat. And unfortunately, he's not a very good Democrat. None of them are true Democrats. None of them actually want to stop poverty. John Jones, Spike Wright, none of the old Democratic guard. Like, if they would have, they would have stopped poverty a long time ago. They would actually give a shit about other people. You know, the minimum wage and, you know, a lot of the anti-war. There would have been a lot of Democratic positions that they would have had spoken up for throughout the years but they never did and so um, you know they're not very they're not good Democrats they're cozy with the Republicans they're Republican light they don't have their own ideas they don't have their own opinions they just try to be like them only a bit nicer and that's not working that's the that's we, we have the choice between the lesser of the two evils and that's not right we want something to root for not something to against and so I mean there's many reasons why this could be happening I guess we can only um, ask the county attorney why he's doing this and and, um, and he probably wouldn't answer us anyways. Um, uh, so, okay, so let's just go on. It, I mean, he probably wouldn't answer the questions anyways. He would, um, you know, he would avoid answering it. But why would he do this? Why would he arrest him? Is this because John Cain is somebody? Because he got a bunch of heads? Because he's wanting to ride his dick, you know, to get some fame off the, all this? Um, you know, the, the big fucking fake reporter? Um... Uh, a video going viral. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he legitimately believes there is something actually wrong. But I, I hate how they do that. You know, four charges on somebody. Just, I think you did something wrong. Then they just, what, what did I do wrong? Well, you did this wrong. You know, you stole that thing from her. That's wrong. Give it back. 
Well, when you put four charges on this, it looks just, it's, you're over, it's overkill. You're just over explaining it. Why are you explain you know, why you, this is what the fuck he did? This, all four, all four of these? And then hopefully one of these, the jury will say, yes, that one is the one that, you know, we think he did. And therefore, he is going to be fined $500 and fucking maybe a day in jail or something. And, um... And say, you know, like, I don't, I don't know why. I guess it's uh, just speculation. So, um, it, it is odd that, you know, they would, uh, they would arrest John Cain for, you know, divulging the, this information. Um, but there's no arrest coming down with Tommy Dunn. I almost feel like the corrupt clique has something to do with um, those who would not uh, arrest Neil Miles. Um, when Neil Miles had did, uh, ran in that drunk driving accident and had killed... Uh, um, um, Samantha, um, the valedictorian, the, uh, young, the young valedictorian, see, um, damn it, I forgot her name, 